like, yeah, I don't wanna stress. I bought a foreign whip, but I don't wanna flex. Step back and shoot, and it hit nothing but net. I always win, like I rigged and paid the rest. Ironic that your exes wanna check. I pop out, they know it's going down. Shawty want me all around, yeah. Pop out with honey bands. Ever since I was young, I've been a man. My bro higher than a fucking ceiling fan. I've been training for this, you don't understand. You won't got some mad, I don't understand. When they say I can't, I'll show I can. I'm a kiss to the back and do it again. I'm throwing these bands like sure I can. But I'm just getting started. I might just pop out in Charlotte. Whether you like me or not, I'ma get it regardless. These niggas think that they high. We gon' see who. That's good, Damo gang. It's your boy, the only Damo, coming back with a new fire video for y'all today. And in today's video, man, I decided to bring you guys the top five best cheesiest moves in the game. I'm not talking about dribble moves. I'm not talking about isoing. I'm talking about the best five moves that literally will give you a bucket. The most broken moves in the game that will give you a bucket in NBA 2K20, y'all. And when I tell you guys this video is going to be a banger, I promise you guys, man. But hey, all I want to say is thank you guys for the love and support on my past YouTube videos. I really do appreciate y'all boys so much. So much, man. We on the road to this 40K subscribers, y'all. We on the road to 40K. And all I want to say is thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. But hey, man, I don't want to do too much talking, too much talking. So hey, I want y'all boys to sit back for me real quick. Sit back, relax. Don't skip the video. Just sit back, relax, get your drinks. And do me one huge favor before we get into this banger. I want you guys to like this video up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the Domo Gang, which you should be because we the litest gang out here, I promise you. And make sure you have them noties turned on for me, man. It helps me out a ton, y'all. But hey, I'm done with the talking. Hey, it's your boy Domo and I'm coming back with the walking. Psych now. But hey, let's get into this video. Well, 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 look what we have here, y'all. Look what we have here today. Today, man, I'm going to show you the top five cheesiest dribble moves. Not dribble moves. Scratch that. I already showed you all the dribble moves. If you haven't seen that, it's on my channel. Go check it out. But hey, today I'm going I'm to show you guys the top five cheesiest moves in NBA 2K20. I know a lot of you guys should, you guys should know these moves. And if you don't, well, today is the, the special day because you are going to learn every single one of these five moves today. And the five moves I'll be showing you guys is a quick stop a hop step, a post hook, a reverse dunk, and a glitchy spin dunk. And what I mean by glitchy spin dunk is it's get, it gets real glitchy, I promise you. But hey man, I'm done with the talking. Peep the drip. Just peep the drip real quick. Peep the drip, peep the drip, peep the drip, peep the drip. If you wanna see another drippy outfit video, let me know in the comment section below. But hey, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys right here is how to do a hop step. And the, the quickest way to do a hop step is what you basically want to do is whichever hand the ball's in, you want to run towards the rim and flick your stick to the opposite direction of whichever hand the ball's in and tap X at the same time. So run to the paint, flick it left, tap X, boom, hop step. It's very simple and it's really effective. What it does, what a hop step does in, in this game is... It basically stuns your defender once you do it, and it gives you a dunk animation every single time. 100% of the time, you're going to get the dunk animation. And what you basically want to do is tap X, flick your stick, boom, contact. Simple. It's very easy. And if the ball's in your right hand, you want to flick it to the left once you run to the paint, boom, dunk. It's gonna happen every single time, y'all, I promise. All right, and now, y'all, let me show you guys how to quick stop. And how you quick stop is, you basically, it doesn't matter where you're at on the court. You just run, let go of everything, stop, pull up. It's not, it, I messed up that time. Hey, scratch that, let's, let's go again. All right, here we go. This is what you want to do, y'all. You want to run, stop, green. Literally run, let go of everything, and just hold the X button down. Literally, that's all you have to do. Let go of everything, boom. It's You're going to get a quick stop animation every single time. And what this does is, 
it's basically if you're beating your defender up the court, stop green. If he's behind you on the side of you, it does not matter. It's not contested at all. I promise to God it's not. Stop green. It's so easy, y'all. I promise. These five moves, yeah, they might not be the hardest to do, but trust me, they're really effective. I promise you. Run, stop, pull up, green. Clearly, I don't green because I suck, but hey, y'all are better than me, so you know the vibes. I want to show you guys this last glitchy move. A lot of you guys are probably like, Damo, you already taught me everything I need to know. Well, I want to teach you more. I want to teach you guys more. I want to teach you guys how to be the best. So listen, man, just listen. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you guys like the video because this is the last one and this last one's going to be like, you're going to be like, holy shit, how do you do that? Yo, Damo, how do you do that, Damo? Damo, you got to show me. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I show you this move right here, y'all going to be like, bro, what did you just do? What did you just do? Because, bro, I've been in my mind court trying to practice this move for the longest. And as you guys can see, me spinning from the damn three, the damn mid-range line. And how you do this is you want to run, put your stick in the counterclockwise, boom. Boom. The glitchy spin dunk. The glitchy spin dunk. Yes, sir. So what you guys want to do, if, the, if you're running from the left side of the court, you basically want to run to the right side of the court and just spin your stick halfway. Just spin your stick halfway to the right side. Just start from the bottom and go all the wet wrap all the way around the right till you get back up to the top. And make sure you hold your left stick towards the towards the hoop. And you and you'll do it every single time. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Boom. It's very comp, I promise you. And if you want to do it to the left side, what you want to do is just rotate your stick to the left. Just rotate it left ways. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to teach y'all how to do that. You got to get closer to the mid-range, to the mid-range area. And it's, it's really easy to do. As you guys can see. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. That's exactly how you do it. Just rotate your stick just the same way I just did it. Boom easy spin it's gonna put you to your defender every time i don't know why it doesn't let me dunk i don't know why it doesn't let like is my player drunk yo can you yo yo player can you can you uh do something correctly please i'm trying to show them oh my god as you guys can see that's the glitchy spin so if you're running from the left side the right side you basically want to rotate your stick from the bottom left all the way around the left side to the top But the next thing I want to show you guys how to do is a post hook. I know y'all boys like, oh shit, man. He about to show these boys how to do a post hook. Domo game, why am I even showing how to do a post hook? I could complain about it every time I stream. Because all I lose to is post scores. But I just want to put y'all on, man. I just want to put y'all on. So how to do a post hook. You go in the paint. If the ball's, if I'm on the right side of the court and the ball's in my right hand, you flick your, your your left stick to the top to the top right to the top right and you hold X at the same time. Boom, post up. It's so easy. And if it's in your left hand, you flick it up to the left. Boom, post up. It's really easy to do, I promise you. You will master it really quick. Cause it's really easy as hell to do. And a post a post fade is basically the same way. You just don't you just don't flick your stick up. You just hold LT, hold X down. And boom, post fade. It's so easy to do and it's really effective also. So hey, that's another cheesy move in y'all's books, man. Y'all write, write them down, man. Write them down. Write them down. Write them down. They're really effective. I, if the shot clock's three, two, one, fade away. Great, man. Literally, you're gonna your your fit your defender can't guard it at all. I promise you he can't guard it. So that's another cheesy move, man. Hey. 
We got two more cheesy moves. The next one, y'all can be like, Tama, you didn't even have to tell us this. We already knew this, but hey. I want to let all the new people know, man. So let's get into it. This next move I'm going to show you guys right here is a reverse dunk. And what you need to be able to do a reverse dunk is make sure you guys go over to your options. A lot of you guys probably like, why can't my player never do a reverse dunk? Well, maybe these are one of the steps you guys are missing. And it's your controller settings. So make sure your, uh, your pro stick is on absolute. And also make sure your off ball of uh, offense mode is on absolute. You need these two to be on absolute to be able to do a reverse dunk. And let's get into it. Let me show you guys how to do that. So make sure you guys both have that on. It's very important. If you don't, you're not going to be able to do a reverse dunk. So what you guys want to do, if the ball's in your, if you're on the left side of the court, what you want to do is run at the basket and hold your stick to the back left. So if the ball's, in, if I'm on the left side of the court, you want to put your right stick straight to the left. So basically like this, hold it straight to the left. And it's going to give you a reverse dunk animation. And if the ball's in your right hand, I mean, if the ball's on, if you're on the right side of the court, you want to hold your stick back to the, the right. So it's basically like this. You basically just hold your stick back to whichever side you're running at. It's very simple to do. It's very simple. And what this does right here, y'all, is very effective also. And I'm explaining to you guys how. The reason why I feel like it's so effective is because it's unguardable it really is unguardable and what i mean by that is if your defenders right by your side it would just glitch you right through him i don't know why 2k did that but when you reverse dunk it would just put your put you right through your defender i don't know why but they really need to patch these moves asap hey if you made it this far in the video i know my commentary is terrible i'm trying to get better at it y'all if you guys could do me one huge favor and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hey man, let's get this money, y'all. Let's get this money. All 2K21, man. All 2K21. Cause I'm hitting 2K. I'm, I'm hitting 100K next year. I'm a de I'm definitely hitting 100K next year. I promise you guys. But hey man, I love y'all boys. Y'all boys stay safe. It's your boy Damo and I'm out, bud. Gang, back up in the bank. GG pack for dang. Lord, I